thanks for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. Um, just got back from a day and a half of uh, tuna fishing. A uh, little plug to my good buddy Buzz who owns uh, the Prowler. It's a sport fishing boat out of Fisherman's Landing here in San Diego. It, it, he totally hooked me up on this trip. If you guys are ever in San Diego you want to do some good fishing, uh, look him up. Um, anyway, what I have here is some yellowtail. If you're into sushi, hamachi. Got some bluefin tuna and we're going to make some smoked fish. Um, First thing I need to do is get a little brine going. So let's get her started and then we'll get them on the uh, smoker in a few hours. All right, first let's just take a look at the fish. The lighter uh, fish here is a yellowtail. The darker fish is the bluefin tuna. Um, when I smoke fish, you know, especially if it's uh, you know one of the larger game fishes like this, I like to use the more irregular shaped cuts um, off the fish, more towards the tail and everything. And that's simply because the other pieces I'm going to be grilling and searing. Um, so what I've done is I've just removed, you know, trimmed out any lateral line that I could, you know, that dark uh, blood line, some people call it, some of the little pin bones that are in the lateral line. And I've, uh, I like to do smoked fish and I like to use it as more serving sizes. Some people like to use the whole filet and smoke it that way. For me, it's just easier, if, you know, if I'm laying out a platter of uh, the smoked fish for my friends, one person's going to grab one piece and they're good to go. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get this uh, marinade or the uh, brine started. Okay, this could not be an easier brine. First thing I'm going to add is a bottle of um, Chardonnay. Any white wine will do. You don't have to go super expensive, but I also wouldn't go super cheap. But you can get a good, you know, California wine for six to ten bucks. And again, I like to stick with a white wine. Next thing is a one cup, or actually I'm going to do one and a half cups of uh, pretty firmly packed brown sugar. Then a quarter cup of sea salt. We're going to get that stirred up. So basically what I'm going to do is just, uh, you know, get this stirred until the sugar starts to melt and dissolve into the uh, liquid here. At that point you could just add your fish to the bowl, refrigerate, or, uh, you know, pour this brine or marinade, whatever you're going to call it, um, in a Ziploc plastic bag, which is what I'm going to do, toss it in the fridge. You want to marinate this. Um, for at least four hours, four to six hours. I mean, you can go overnight if you want. Uh, the longer you go, the more it's gonna kind of brine the fish. But again, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with about four hours before we get it uh, on the smoker. So, let's, uh, like I said, I'll get this in a bag with the brine solution and then uh, I'll meet you out at the smoker when it's done. All out. right, so I've got my pit preheated to 225. I plan on running it at that temperature this whole cook. Um, cooking times. It's kind of hard to really assign a time to this kind of meat. Um, it's going to be done. Some of the smaller pieces may be about an hour and a half. Um, the larger pieces probably around two hours. I'm going to check an hour and a half and just uh, if there's any of the smaller guys done I'm going to be removing them. Um, meat, as far as wood is concerned, I'm using apple on this cook. If I, wasn't using apple, I'd probably use one of the other lighter woods like uh, pecan. You know, the I just personally feel that hickory and some of the other woods are just a little bit too heavy for this delicate of a meat. Um, that brine I made with the brown sugar in there, it's going to finish with a nice little, it's kind of a sweet taste. Um, on the tongue right when you uh, bite into it so it's just got a really nice flavor all right so get the lid closed so this thing goes to work i will be uh like i said i'm going to be checking this in about an hour and a half but like i said it's probably going to take about two hours or so before the whole cook's done see you in a bit all right so i went ahead and just let it go for two hours <laughs> some of them i could have pulled a little early but they weren't that uh they're feeling pretty good texture wise um, so as you can see, there's definitely been, you know, a reduction in the size of these things. A lot of the water's gone now. It's a lot firmer than it used to be. But it is ready to eat. And, 
I know someone's going to ask. So what, uh, basically, this will hold for five to seven days in the fridge. You know, we're not doing this. It's not jerky. And it's not really being done as a to preserve this stuff. It's because it tastes really, really good. This with some cheese, some crackers, a glass of wine, big golden. So let me finish uh, getting this stuff off the uh, pit here, and then we'll show it to you inside the house. Take a little taste. All right, guys. So here it is, all done. Uh, like I said, it took just about uh, two hours for everything. Um, I make this pretty much every time I go deep sea fishing, and uh, it's a good way if you got a lot of fish uh, to make it last. Like I said, this will last in the fridge for about between five and seven days. It doesn't have any nitrates or any preservatives in it, so it's it's mainly smoked uh, for flavor rather than you know as a real preservative. Um, my favorite way to eat this. Is with a you know ice cold beer to kind of treat it like a, an appetizer, uh, wine, some cheese and crackers. I've actually ruined dinners when I've brought this to little get-togethers because it's kind of addictive. Um, but I put it on salads. Uh, I've actually chopped it up, mixed it up with a little bit of um, chipotle mayo, made some really really good sandwiches. Um, anyway, buzz. Thank you again, my friend. I will definitely be going out fishing with you here very shortly before the season dies. Um, it was really a lot of fun and uh, to reap some of the awards, rewards here. So you can see it's got a nice little pink smoke ring. It's still a little bit moist. It's not like I said, it's not like fish jerky. Yeah, that little bit of sweetness hits you right off the bat, some smokiness, it's, it's really good. Even people that don't like fish like this stuff. But uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Cheers. See you guys again.